After being out on the road for a few weeks, I received an urgent call from our Time Will Tell producer, Tyler. He insisted that I suspend the tour and fly back to Charlotte for a special announcement. Hey, if Tyler calls, I've learned to answer. I figured we could accomplish two things at once if he would be willing to take me on a quick errand and we could talk on the way. That was until he pulled up with a special edition midget that could not accommodate both me and my two suitcases. Heck, it didn't look like it could accommodate me alone. I couldn't resist the opportunity to see for myself. We can do a trip in that little midget I knew what Tyler was asking me to do was truly necessary. It was time for a big announcement that you have to hear directly from me. I am absolutely shocked. Tyler has brought me off the road to make an announcement that truly is special. Let me tell you what, there are three things that are happening. First of all, he let me know that 10 episodes are done. We're in the final phases of editing 10 episodes for Time Will Tell. Number two, we have stations that cannot wait for us to put this on TV. But number three, I have to say is the most important. Someone gave him a call and told him this. They're actually sending money right now as a threefer, which means that if you give us a dollar, this person will match two. That means three for one. It's what happened at the Walgreens. I buy one thing, all of a sudden the lady comes out and gives me two more. If you don't understand it, it literally means this. A dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. If you want the clock crisis, here's what happens. You go to timewilltell.tv. You give us fifty dollars, guess what happens? It's a hundred and fifty. We send you three for Hey, let me tell you something. This is amazing. We're going to get this information to the world. We're going to have inspiration, information, and revelation. Come on, join with me. I've got to get back on the road. Tyler's going to have to handle this. I don't know how he's going to do it, but remember, three for one. The Time Will Tell television series is ready to take off. Here's a small sampling of what the world is about to see with your support. Next to it, a temple to the goddess Feronia, the agent goddess of fertility. Next to it, the goddess Fortuné. And finally, a temple dedicated to the goddess Juturna. Two of the temples were built by emperors to commemorate victories over their enemies. The circular temple with six columns remaining was built by Quintus Lutetius Catulus in 101 BC to celebrate his victory over Simbri. It is a temple devoted to Fortuné, the luck of the current day. Just as I was asking myself how this connected with our project, a German tourist came up and offered some more insight. It's amazing what a camera and tripod can do to bring folks together. I don't know if you, if you know that uh, right here behind us and uh, straight under the actual street, begins the Curia of uh, Pompeius. This was a place where uh, 
2055 years ago, exactly on this date, Caesar was murdered. Yes. Say that again. 2000. 2055 years ago, on this date, 15th of March, Julius Caesar was murdered. I finally decided to follow a young soldier to the border patrol offices to see if I could get approval to cross over for the purposes of understanding the Muslim perspective. When they refused to let me in, I decided to take my chances by looking for a ready, willing, and able Muslim who would tolerate a curious Methodist. I knew where I needed to go, to the West Bank. It is always a little nerve-wracking waiting to get approval to cross over these borders. These guys are trained to sniff out a troublemaker. Call me a little paranoid, but it makes me even more nervous when border police get a call before my car arrives. After convincing him that I was okay, I drove past the famous security wall into the West Bank and started looking for anybody who would help me. I checked with a sheep herder, a camel trainer. I was so desperate I even pulled over a donkey rider. I can honestly say that now I've been a part of racial profiling. As he was approaching, I realized that there might be a bit of a language barrier. You know what they say, if you speak three languages, you're trilingual. If you speak two languages, you're bilingual. And if you speak one, you're usually an American. I tried to greet him, but got no response. Let's just say it was a bit uncomfortable for all parties involved. So now that I had a better grip on what was happening both above and below the Western Wall, I was ready to deal with the Jewish people who prayed at the wall. I needed to find a Jewish man who lived within the walls of the old city who understood the inner workings of the temple. Introducing Yoel HaLevi, Yoel the Levite. I asked Yoel to meet me just below the Al-Aqsa Mosque on the southern side of the temple to give me the Jewish perspective on the temple as headquarters for God's clock. Well, after a great effort, I finally got a hold of this man. Everyone knows about him, Nehemiah Gordon. And he agreed to take me on his Aviv search. The problem is where we're starting. Nehemiah, would you tell everybody where we are? Well, right behind me here is uh, Gaza City. We're on the border between Israel and the Gaza Strip, where uh, and the Gaza Strip is currently controlled by the Hamas terrorist organization, which is constantly lobbing missiles and rockets at Israeli civilians. Okay, hold on. Nehemiah. And we're actually standing here in a concrete reinforced bunker because you can't just stand here out in the open it's not safe so folks want to know this why is it so important to make such a big deal about coming down here to look for the Aviv why couldn't we just stay in Jerusalem in the old city and look for some Aviv why are we down here well, so Leviticus 23 talks about the Feast of Unleavened Bread co uh, corresponding coinciding with the beginning of the barley harvest and if you want to find the earliest barley you've got to find where those places are in the land of Israel where it ripens first well we know from experience and from historical sources that this is it right here. So we've got to come down here, rockets or not. <laughs> oh, hey, hey guys. Let's get this series on the air by accepting the Television Time Challenge. Visit us at www.timewilltell.tv to learn more about this project and to make your tax-deductible donation today of any amount and watch it multiply into a threefer.